I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss how to incorporate phase shift in modeling trigonometric functions. So we will begin with sine functions. So in this video I will get into details while working with sine function and in the next video we will take up cosine function. So let's draw a few sine waves and then we will figure out how to incorporate uh, phase shift. Okay. So I'll actually draw three sine waves here. First one is the standard sine wave, which has an amplitude of one, time period of two pi. All right, so let me write down here. So this is zero, amplitude of one. It goes from plus one to minus one. Time period in radians will be two pi and 360 degrees, right? So half of the wave will be pi and here we have pi by 2 this is 3 pi by 2 in radians and in degrees you can write this as 180 degrees that will be 90 degrees and this will be 270 degrees correct so that's the standard sine wave and equation for this sine wave is sine theta let us say where theta is along the x-axis and we are talking about y so we say y equals to sine theta now when we are talking about phase shift we are actually trying to write an equation in terms of y equals to sine theta minus p so that is the phase shift which we are talking about we are keeping the amplitude one for these examples right and we are also not considering any vertical translations Okay, now phase shift really means that the starting point of sine wave normally is on the axis. Do you see this axis, right? So that is the axis. Let me write down here so that it becomes absolutely clear to you how to correctly find. So this is the axis, right, along theta. Phase shift is testing for this particular point. From where we have a sine wave which starts from the axis and it is rising so we are looking for two things start at axis and second thing is rising these two things help us to locate the starting point from the sine wave and then we get our phase shift so that is the key thing which uh, we need to consider in these diagrams so let me now draw the second sine wave for you now in this sine wave what I will do is I will shift it by 90 degrees to the right okay so what I'm trying to say is that this sine wave I'm shifting starting from here instead of 0 being at 0 0 on the axis I'm starting my sine wave here and this sine wave will now end up 360 plus 90 degrees since the time period is same for this sine wave so let me just approximately draw one sine wave right so concentrate on these points so now the same theta we have correct axis is same which is along the x-axis which I'm treating as sine theta the independent variable amplitude remains still plus one right same amplitude but now the starting point is at 90 degrees to see or if you're doing in radians it is pi by 2 so the equation for this will be y equals to sine theta minus 90 degrees for those of you who want to write it in degrees since it has moved the starting point of the sine wave has moved right by 90 degrees in radians you could write this as sine theta minus pi by 2 right so that is how you have to incorporate the phase shift the other condition could have been that this starting point was before right for example it could be from somewhere here so let me just draw one wave here so again I'm doing a very approximate sketch right so kind of like this and let us say that this point here is minus 45 degrees okay in radians of course this will be minus pi by 4 
right? I'm taking both the units. Now you need to write down the equation for this sine wave whose maximum is 1 and minimum is minus 1 and whose time period is 2 pi in radians or 360 degrees. Can you write it? The equation should be y equals to sine theta minus or plus. We have moved left so minus 45. Minus and minus makes it plus. So it would be plus 45 degrees or it could be also written as sine of theta plus pi by 4. I hope you get it right. So that is how you have to incorporate phase shift. Now here is one more suggestion. So this is uh, the last example here on this page. There could be cases when you see the sine wave which actually starts from the origin but it is not rising but it goes down first. Kind of like this, right? Now, can you write down equation for this sine wave? Still, let's consider 1 and minus 1 to be its maximum and minimum values and the time period of 360 degrees or pi, right? depending on what units you are taking. So, uh, I mean 2 pi. So, half of the wave is at pi or 180 degrees. Is that okay? How will you write equation of this sine wave? Now, there are two ways to do it. One is, we are looking at a starting point on the axis. This is the axis. And rising. If you see, that starting point is really here. So, it starts from here and rises. And of course, these are periodic waves, so they actually continue, correct? So, one way is that I could write this as y equals to sine theta. Since it has moved pi or 180 degrees to the right, it will be minus 180 degrees. Do you see that? Or in radians, I could write this as sine theta minus pi. These are ways to write the or model the sine wave. Right? So, I am using the word model because soon we will get into real life examples where we need to model those functions as sine functions. Right? Now, alternate to this is, which is kind of very interesting, is to write it as y equals to minus sine theta. Minus sine theta means it is not rising but it starts falling, the decreases. Right? As if the wave has been reflected on x-axis. Do you see that? That minus incorporates. Now that is a simpler and a better expression to use when you get a wave which is instead of rising falling for sine. I hope you will understand and appreciate this part, right? So in short, you have kind of got an idea of how to incorporate the phase shift for a sine wave, right? In the next video, we will consider cosine wave right you can see cosine wave starts from maximum so it is kind of shifted do you see that we'll see that in the next video i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot i hope this is helpful to you thank you and all the best